The well-known abolitionist and former slave Frederick Douglass hesitantly endorsed Abraham Lincoln's candidacy for president in 1860. Lincoln was against slavery, but his primary goal was to preserve the Union, even if it meant preserving slavery. Despite this, Douglas praised Lincoln's issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 and began working to recruit African American troops to serve in the Union Army. Lincoln and Douglas met at the White House that same year, where Douglas asked the president for equal pay for African American soldiers and for the president to retaliate for atrocities committed against them. Lincoln expressed sympathy but did not agree to Douglas's demands. Douglas and Lincoln would meet two more times in the White House. They had developed a special bond of mutual respect. In their last meeting, Lincoln would say, Douglas, there is no man in the country whose opinion I value more than yours. Douglas would later say, Though the Union was more to him than our freedom or our future, under his wise and beneficent rule, we saw ourselves gradually lifted from the depths of slavery to the heights of liberty and manhood. This has been 60 Second Civics, a daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. 